Hello guys, today in this video we will learn how to use Owl Carousel. So Owl Carousel basically is a jQuery plugin which helps you create sliders and carousels that you see in websites. Okay, so without wasting time, let's uh, start with the video. So this is the Owl Carousel website. Uh, I will put the link for this website in the description box below. So if you come down here, you can see the demo. So this is what a slider is. It has all the different uh, features mentioned on the website is fully customizable. It has a touch and drag support and a lot more. So you can just uh, read through all of this if you are interested. Okay, so now let's see how to use Owl Carousel. So to learn how to use it, let's go to the documentation and the installation part. And here we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Owl Carousel. Okay, so let's uh, start. Let me show you the HTML file that I have. This is plain boilerplate code. Okay, we have the HTML, the head tag, the body tag, and just the style sheet that I have linked and the JS file that I have linked here. All right. So now your first step it says is include CSS. So we need to include both of these. It says include carousel.min.css and theme.default.min.css. So we just paste both of these below our style sheet. And if you notice one thing, this is not a link or a CDN. For this year to work, we need to create a folder named Owl Carousel and then we need to have these files inside of it. And also we need to have the content of the file inside it. Then only this will work. So we will replace this with the CDN in the end. Once we finish going through all these um, steps, all right? So the second thing we see here is include JS and if you see include jQuery, it says that we have to include jQuery or else your slider won't work. Okay, jQuery is required for Owl Carousel to work. So here we add uh, jQuery and our Owl uh, Carousel min.js file, script file here. Then it says that you don't need any special markup. You just need to wrap your divs, okay, inside the container element that is Owl Carousel, all right. And it says that the class Owl Carousel is mandatory to ap apply proper styles that come from Owl dot Carousel uh, dot CSS file, all right. So we just copy this and we paste it here. And this class here is compulsory to mention. All right. If you don't mention this, then uh, your styles won't be applied properly. Okay. If you uh, read through this, you will understand. And then the last step is we need to call the plugin. So this is called initialization. So we need to initialize the function and your carousel is ready. All right. Uh, you need to have the script tags. All right. So you can either mention it here or you can put it in a separate JS file if you have one. But for the purpose of this video, let's keep it here so that everything is on one page and it's easier for you guys to see. All right. So we have this ready. Now let's uh, copy the path and let's paste it here. So now if you see, as I told you, it won't be working because we don't have these files in our folder. So we will just replace them with the CDN. So let's let's just go to uh, cdnjs.com. This is one of the best websites for any CDNs. Like if you want CDN for any anything, you can just come here, type it, and you'll get it. Okay. So here uh, we need a CDN for for our carousel too. So if here if you can see it is two. So we are just using that. So first we see we need carousel.min.css. So here we go carousel.min.css. Here it is. So just copy the link tag and replace the entire link tag with it. Okay. The second we need is theme.default.min.css. And here we go with it. Just replace the entire link here. And the third file that we need is carousel.min.js, which is the first one over here. Okay. And the last one we need is jQuery. So let's uh, search for jQuery and here we have the jQuery.min.js file. So just copy this and replace this. Okay, so now our carousel should work. So we go here and we refresh. Here you go. So if you drag, can you see? 
it is working all right so uh, this was the simplest setup for owl carousel okay so owl carousel is nothing difficult it is this easy to use okay now these were the basic steps that were required to set up your owl carousel now we will see uh, the different options that we have uh, in owl carousel to modify it and to you know add different type of things that you see for example autoplay let's say navigation uh, arrows and things that you see on websites and the dots at the bottom that you see on which you if you click you can just navigate and all the different options adding margin and all those we will see so now uh, the first thing here to understand is this class is necessary okay and here when you initialize the carousel you need to make sure that the class name year and the one year has to match okay for example if you remove l from year and you refresh you will see that it stops working right so i would suggest uh, don't use this class the owl carousel class directly here just uh, give your slider an id or something which is unique to the slider so we can just call this as slider 1 you can also give it a different class name and then use that or you can also use this class name itself but what happens when you use this class name is uh, for example if you want um, more than one slider on the same page okay and if you're initializing this and what you do is you give the same class name and then you use the same class name and there is conflicts and there are problems that are caused like for example if you want the first slider to autoplay and you want the second slider to not autoplay and you know you want different functions for both the sliders then it causes problems so better not to use this class for initializing your owl carousel all right so in place of class you can just use an id i prefer using id the rest is up to you you can also use a class and if you refresh you will see it still works as it was working okay so now uh, let's add some functions to our owl carousel all right so uh, before adding functions um it won't be visible here so let's add images in place of these this content that we have right now so that whatever we do is pretty clear okay so if you can see the structure right now it is the main div which is holding the entire slider and these are like you can uh, assume that them as each item of the slider that is going to slide okay so uh, just follow this structure so that there are no problems so here we go with a div and here we say images i already have three images three or four images in there so we can just use those so we say two three and four and we save and here we go okay so we got our slider all right our slider is ready here and now uh, let's uh, start adding a few uh, options that are available to the slider for example we can add a margin of 10 pixels if you see there is no space between images right now but if you add the margin of 10 and you refresh you will start seeing a uh, space in between right if you see there is like uh, 10 pixels of margin around the image right so this is the first property that you can use and the second one uh, maybe let's say loop and let's say true and right now just see after the bananas you are not able to scroll okay and if you refresh now so now if you scroll you see it is smooth scrolling and it started in a loop after banana you see the first item again all right so this is the loop option then you have many other options as such now you might be thinking how do i know this options right so here if you go to the demos and uh, for example let's pick the responsive one and here if you see you have have all the options written here you you have all the different options you can just go through all these demos and just uh, click on the one that you want to integrate in your website and then just copy the options that are there you don't need to remember these these options as they are very pretty much used and they are the simplest options so that's the reason i use them often so i remember them okay so let's see the autoplay option here so okay 
let's copy these auto play these are the default settings okay so we will just copy these and change the values now if you can see there is an error so we need to have a comma after each uh, option okay so let's say autoplay to be true and autoplay timeout let's make it a second and autoplay hover pause let's keep it false autoplay hover pause is when you uh, hover over the slider then it pauses it stops the autoplay okay so let's refresh and see if this works okay so i'm not touching the slider but it's moving all by its own so this is how your autoplay works right so these are different options you have many many options uh, in owl like you can do a lot of things it is not just limited to a slider like this i will definitely come up with a video where we will uh, make you know a few things using owl carousel interesting one okay so um now the most important thing for every website that is responsiveness of a website right so if your entire website is responsive we need our slider also to be responsive correct so for that let's uh, go to the website and let's again go to the demos and here if you see we have this responsive option this is very simple you come here just copy this snippet of code and just paste it after this okay so uh here we go it is as simple as putting this much small snippet of like putting this small snippet of code in the options and your carousel is responsive okay so let's refresh Right, let's just uh, turn off the autoplay so that it does not disturb us while we are working on our responsive. Okay, so can you see we uh, like it now there is space earlier there was no space here. So that is happening because of this. It says 1000 and above screens, 1000 and above. My resolution is 1920. Okay, so any screen that is 1000 and above will show five items and here we have one two three four and if you see we have a space for the fifth item so here if we change this to four and we refresh you will see that again it became four we had three previously so let's just make it three again all right okay all right so now also the loop stopped right because here the value of loop, of loop is false it's not just that that you can change the number of items you can change different options that you put here you can just change them here okay so let's keep the autoplay as true okay so we get back the autoplay now let's see for a tag that is 768 if we refresh there are three if you see here 600 and above that is from 600 up to 1000 it will show three items but we just wanted to show two items okay so we just save and we refresh and here you go we have only two items that are visible and then we have to scroll to see the others all right and for from 0 to uh, 600 that is for you mostly for your mobile um if you say 480 that is a mobile resolution and if you see you have one image so do you see it is this easy to make your owl carousel responsive right now if you're wondering what these small small tiny little things are here so if you can see we have the nav true on for mobile and tab so that is the reason we can i'm sorry just for the mobile we have it as true so that is the reason you are seeing this so you can see it over here also because here also the option is nav true right so These are the nav navigation buttons that if you click on these, the slider will work. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me just zoom a little bit. So now if you can see the buttons. Now these buttons are outside your main owl stage outer. If you can see here in the inspect, you see the the a slider on the top is like you know uh, it is 
separate from the div of the owl nav if you can see here the owl nav is a different div okay this is a different div and the owl nav is a different div below that uh, and this is very useful why is you can place your navigation anywhere if you want to place it on the images or if you want to place it just below the image or you want to place it anywhere okay even if you want to make the width of the slider this much and you want to place the right, um, arrows on the right or on the left or anywhere according to the design uh, then this is very useful you can just uh, position absolute it and just pay, place it according to this uh, main div here just uh, place it anywhere okay and you can just give it any style you wish so for example let's uh, see for this uh, i wish uh, style and show how you can give it a style so for example for the button uh, we give style to the span we can say font size 30 pixels so if you can see the owl previous button is a 30 pixel size okay we can give it a height of 40 pixel maybe width of 40 pixels and we can say display inline block and we can give it a background color of maybe black All right and you can you know use different css properties to just center it so this is how you can style your navigation and also you can you have these dots here they are not visible right now but if we style them you will be able to see it owl dots uh let's say background color black height 20 pixels with 20 pixels border radius of 50 percent and let's say margin 0 10 pixels so if you can see the dots and here if we have the active dot we can just like you know keep these transparent and the active one can be background color let's say black so you can understand which one is active and if you click here then it gets active again all right so this is how you can easily style your navigation and your dots so yeah i would like to add one most important point here that is the sequence of these scripts okay so the first script has to be jquery the second one has to be owl lot carousel dot min dot js and then you initialize your uh, main uh, carousel here if you put jquery after uh, uh, carousel.min.js then it is not going to work because it needs the jquery to load first and then this uh, file has to load first i mean after the jquery the second thing that has to load is this and the third one which will be loading is our main uh, initialization here okay so even if you're putting it in a separate file make sure that the link for this and this is first that is jquery and min.js and then you have the script file here or else it won't be working okay if you put this before this all right and also if you see that your uh, styles are being overridden or something like that you can just try to change the css uh, sequence but it doesn't really matter okay for the css but yeah for the script it does so keep that in mind and so yeah that's it so i think uh, this is pretty much it uh, for how to use owl carousel I hope all your questions have been answered in this video and if not then you can uh, always put your questions uh, in the comment box below and I will answer all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys learned at least one thing from the video uh, don't forget to press that like button and also subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming up with uh, videos similar to this and a lot more. So yeah thank you so much guys for staying and see you in the next video till then bye.